Today on Drawbly, we are drawing chinchillas. You can join us by sharing your art online using the hashtag Drawbly and click the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. Abby, did you see my big booty chinchilla? I did. You just he you just stole so a glance cute. right before right before we got in here. I mean, how could I not he's, look at him? He's pretty great. He is. Super Let me see great. yours. Let's he's got some big old big old chunk and cheeks. He's cute. Yeah, he's very fun. Chinchillas are so cute. We had pet chinchillas at my house briefly. Um, Wait, you did? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, the neighbors down the street awesome. decided that they got some, and then they were like, that's just too much work. So they gave them to us. As a lot of people do with animals, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's, and we had a lot of animals, and they were a lot of work, but that was just our daily life living in life was just our daily, having them. Our daily living, so, our daily didn't life. too much of it. So we were like sitting downstairs and you were like, let's do chinchillas. And I was like, oh gosh, wait, what's a chinchilla? Is yeah. that like a bug? <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't remember what a chinchilla was. So. You were like, I I've been studying Japanese too much. I forget words in English now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we should talk about that. Yeah. Um, so we while we were on vacation, um, we were talking to one of our good friends we were on vacation with. Austin, yes. Yes, and he was talking a lot of hype about the sh the website Wani Kani, which is a good website for like learning kanji specifically. Kanji specifically. And I had actually used it a year ago because originally our trip, we were hoping to make a big trip to Japan, but they didn't open back up with yes. the pandemic. And so we pivoted to Hawaii. Pivot? For a shorter amount of time. But while we were there, we talked about Wani Kani. And before we had pivoted, I was like, Ugh, everybody in this group knows some Japanese. I can't be <laughs> the only one who doesn't. Oh, really? So I learned... <laughs> you felt left out? Nah. But I did nah. learn hiragana and katakana. Um, and you've relearned that And I've relearned it because obviously we didn't end up going, so I kind of stopped learning it. And katakana is kind of tough because like, you don't really use it that often. I don't use any of it ever. <laughs> well, yeah, but like, so like for me, when I got back in, like I, like hiragana for me is like burned into my brain. Mm -hmm. So whenever I see it, I instantly know the characters. But for katakana, like I would misread it on occasion because it's just not something that like I would see very often. Right. It's, it's for like special purposes, special yeah, special purposes. We don't need to get into, the, need specifics. To get into the specifics. We don't need to get into the specifics. Right. But we have enjoyed going through Wani Kani. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of gamified, at least for me. Um, so it's a, it's a web app that teaches you kanji and vocabulary. Kanji being the, uh, the, the little characters um, that probably most people associate with, like, Chinese. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I but... recognized one of the kanji that we've learned recently, or I've learned recently, on a tattoo of somebody I work with recently. Oh, what was it? Power, strength. Ah, yeah, it's probably a, a pretty common one. Yeah, for a tattoo, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, You're like, I like it. Yeah, I do too. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really fun, it's really gamified, like, I don't, I doubt there's too much crossover for people that, like, watch uh watch drawbly and are also interested in japanese right. <laughs> language but yeah I, I went to japan on a study abroad trip for a few months almost almost a decade ago now does that feel weird to say like that you did things a decade ago kind of like not really but like it doesn't feel like it's been that long for me mm -hmm. uh since i did that but it has and surprisingly i remember quite a lot and I'm, I'm always trying to teach Abby little, little words snippets. and phrases here and there to help give her a leg up on some things. <laughs> here, uh, Abby, what is the word for cold? Samui. That's right, Samui. It's uh, cold here. <laughs> it's a little chilly. Happy winter. Yes, so that's why I taught you that one. Because we were, we're walking to the gym. And... At, yeah, I was like, here's a good one for you. <laughs> Do you remember the word for sleepy? Namui. 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 I have so much trouble knowing which words use na, ne, no. Right. I can't keep that straight yet. It is. It is tough. But like, you know, it's like, it just, it's exactly the same as like an English word, you know? After a while, you just know it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, is it a apple or apple? It's like. Well, you <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you heard somebody saying apple, you'd be like, oh, that's that's not right. Exactly. 
So it's just, you know, take some time. It's a whole new language and you're learning a lot at once. That's true. I know. I'm trying to take it slow. The Like you were saying, the Wani Kani is gamified and so you can unlock new lessons. You can um, go as fast or as slow as you want. And I am intentionally going quite slow so I don't overload myself with new material before I've somewhat learned the old material. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. I love how we're drawing chinchillas and talking about Japanese. Like, how many times do you think in the history of humanity this has happened? Like, oh, this could be the two, moment. two people drawing chinchillas talking about studying Japanese. Most people drawing chinchillas and talking about Japanese at once. Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> <laughs> we've done it. We found the one thing we've done that no one else has. <laughs> and everybody watching this. Are, they're the first people. Oh, whoa, I love what you're doing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's really fun. Thanks. <laughs> That's a really fun way to do that. They're the first people to ever see Listen something Listen to like two this. people talking about chinchillas and talking about Japanese at the same time. You're welcome, audience. Da -na -na -da -da -na. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the copyrighted gods. They're coming <laughs> for us again. Not the copyrighted content. <laughs> The rock's knocking at our door. Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> yeah, I feel like everybody likes him, don't they? I mean, yeah. He's a pretty likable figure. Likable. He's been in a lot of stuff uh, somewhere recently. Like, I, I feel like his acting career has really taken off. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what this little hump is here for his neck. Kind of looks a little silly, but that's okay. I got to get in here with some, some color. I got to get some value, like you. I like what you're doing there. That's I'm really enjoying this. That's a fun way to Just go. Just knocking in values where I see them. This is such a fun. Um... Knocking is a very good way to explain what you are doing there. What... Yeah, actually, yes. It's like I'm knocking on the door of the chinchilla and I'm saying, hello, let me in with these values. And it's saying, <laughs> okay. That is the name of this episode, by the way. What? I'm knocking on the door of this chinchilla <laughs> saying, hello, let me in with these values. That's a very long title. And that's the whole title, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up with titles for our videos is an art form. Mm -hmm. mm. And you just gave us a freebie there. No, I didn't. We can't yeah. use that. Well, part of it. Part of it, for sure. I am enjoying my big old round chinchilla ball. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the tail, uh, because I'm realizing that the tail is like very, very poof. Very but, poof. Very um, poof tail. A very poof tail, yes. A very impressionistic chinchilla. Nonsense. It's just, uh, you, you know, it's kind of pointillism-esque. You start with the big dots, and mm -hmm. then you do some medium dots, <gasps> and then you do some small dots. Pointillism, baby. That's baby. how you do it. Yay. Don't try to sound cool like me and steal my catchphrases. No, every time I hear myself trying to sound cool, I <laughs> play in my head little memories I have of my younger sisters doing the same thing, and they, God oh, bless yeah? them, are decidedly not cool when they do it. Oh, wow. I mean, sorry, girls. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I'm related to them. I sound just like them, so my attempts are probably just as fruitless. So... <laughs> Stop trying to be cool like me. I guess. I'm too cool. Did you see me wear my hat backwards that one time? Uh, I did, and uh, <laughs> I think as soon as I saw you, I said, stop trying to be cool like Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, Brendan's doing it, and Brendan looks cool, so... And I think I said, if Brendan yeah. jumped off a bridge, would you jump off a bridge, as all all people say. Yeah, that's how that goes. No, but I think um, if I went to Starbucks every day, his wife would come with me. Okay, and so... And I like that about her. <laughs> we've, we've been talking about our vacation a lot in our episodes, because... <laughs> There have been, well, you know, it's it, that's what there is to talk about, I guess. Anyway. And that's the hot topic in our household, is what we already did. <laughs> so while we were on vacation, every single day, Abby would go venture forth. Every day I would treat myself. It was marvelous. But I would also indulge in, in the bucks. I got so many Starbucks stars this way. I don't know what that means, but... Is well, that like the point system? Yeah, when you buy like a fancy drink, you get more stars. And I usually just buy like regular coffee. Regular old boring black coffee. Well, if coffee. you go to Starbucks as often as I do, you have to exercise restraint somehow. You somewhere. don't go often. Not too often. Not while we're home, like on vacation you did, but. Yeah. That's because it was special. 
But anyway, uh, Abby went to Starbucks every day. I also enjoyed a bucks, some mm-hmm. bucks each day. Uh, but <laughs> our friend, our friend Sam would go along with her and I... Oh, it was so nice. Oh, you made a little meme of... Um... You as Frodo. Me as Frodo looking behind me. At Sam. <laughs> at Sam. Like, every Frodo needs a Sam. Because every morning I would say in a little group chat, who wants to go to Starbucks? Who wants to go on a little adventure? Yes. Out to the box. Two blocks over to Starbucks. Such a far, long trip to Mordor. And she would always a go sim- with A me. simple yeah. walk to Starbucks. One day we went without her, though, and I felt really bad. Because she was like, I was waiting for the message. I was the, like, <gasps> the Starbucks message. I am the worst. How could you, Frodo? I felt very bad. Yes, I made quite a few memes about uh, uh, your trips to Starbucks. Mm -hmm. That's right. The Bernie Sanders one. Yeah, I am once again asking you to go (laughs) to Starbucks with me. That that was a pretty good one. But Mm -hmm. out of context for everybody, these are not very funny at all. Like what? I go to Starbucks. That special. Come on. Come on. You had to be there. You had to be there at Starbucks. At Starbucks in on Hawaii. Oahu. Oh, I'm so fancy. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have no idea how I'm gonna like make this look like for like absolutely zero idea. Um, I've been just been doing lots and lots of little brush strokes. You're right. That's what I need to do. Lots <gasps> look at Manning's little, little eyes and they're so cute. That looks really good. Oh, that thank looks you. that looks really good. I just That's gotta go in and add like the little cool. details now. Wow, mine's so lame. No, he's not. You're so funny. How do you, how do you make? Although I've experienced that where I've looked over and you're like doing something amazing, and I look back at mine and I'm like, never done any amazing thing on this show. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) no, yes, you have. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me, Ben. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal your, your tech. I'm gonna steal your technique. Yeah, shamelessly stealing. When I was a new nurse and excited about doing things with the company, um, I... Not anymore, though. Well, no excitement there. There's just, it all got stopped because of COVID, whatever. But I went to this conference. Oh, and it really? Was, yeah. Like a nurse conference? Yeah. What was it? Um, like what for? It was for, what was it? Care Innovation and Transformation. It had some, we Care called it innovation. CIT. CIT. Yeah. Wow. So actually, I got to go to a little conference. and That's funny because CIT to me means a completely different thing. What does CIT mean to you? Computer Information Technology. That is probably a more broad understanding of CIT than Care Innovation and Transformation. No, I um, like it. We didn't really truly like do too much renovation of care we did some things i think a lot of it was all about like putting the power of change back in the hands of the nurses who work um the power of change as opposed to having change handed down to us from above oh so we were told we were all empowered to implement change i see um what did we implement what I did implemented you implement, a change Abby? of the supply cards. That's what I did. Wait, were was you like able to decide things at this convention? Wait, what? I'm so confused. At this convention, this was more about getting together with the other four CIT representatives and putting up displays and giving little talks about what we'd done with our initiative. So it was like a little science fair for nurses. A little science, yes. <laughs> well, like, oh, the NICU had the cutest one. Their project was to implement a whole little camera system, 24-hour-7 camera system. So wait, was this a mandatory thing that you had to do? No. Oh, okay. It was not. They said, well, so everybody else in the group was... Abby, I tried your technique, and it failed. You used too long of a brush stroke. Look. Oh. Little bitty, little bitty. Sorry. Look, I didn't, I didn't study your technique. It takes like 20 undos to undo one little spot this way. Oh my god. But it's what you gotta do. You gotta sacrifice for your art. All right. Keep telling me about the, the nurses. Um. Oh yeah. But so I. Oh my gosh. So fascinating. So fascinating. I know. So keep, keep telling me. I'm ready. So I was fairly new to the floor, and it's a well-known thing that new nurses like to get on to do projects and be involved, and it's more exciting than, plus I don't have kids or anything, so it's not like I didn't have time. And so some days, instead of going to work at the hospital, I got to go to these little conferences, or I would spend paid time on the floor implementing these changes. 
um, which was just a really nice like way to break things up, change of pace. Paid you know? time is good time. And paid time is good time. Anytime you're getting paid to do something that's not your normal go-to day-to-day, that can be a good time. It can be fun just to change things Switch up. Switch it up, mm-hmm. yeah. So I like that. Um, and really what I did was I made it so that nipping in and out of rooms to get little supplies uh, was a lot less time consuming and you did obnoxious. That? How'd you do that? I just took over what we plied in our close by supply stations. They were kind of mostly full of useless stuff that nobody really ever used. So I re did, I did surveys of everybody of what we would find most useful in those. Um, what, are you, what, what are these things? These, they're little supply carts. Every hospital is going to be different, but at my hospital, there's one central supply room, but then little supplies that you use all the time, we have in little carts around the floor so that they're closer to a group of four or five rooms rather than having to go back to the central supply room every time you need one little supply. I see. And so nursing being a very busy sort of job as it is, you end up using these carts a lot. And if there's something missing from them... So yours was like a a lazy innovation, so you didn't have to walk as far. Um, Efficient innovation, excuse you. (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) No, I am all about efficiency, which is my code word for I am lazy and I don't want to walk very far. (laughs) it is not. That is not true. Um, That's why you use all the Procreate special brushes. Because of... uh, um, the, the word you said that wasn't lazy uh efficient efficiency mm, efficiency yes, yes mm. efficiency is key mm, mm. yes i'm trying to use a hairbrush uh my chinchilla is failing i just i i picked the cutest one i did i swear Aww, you did it you're doing a good job though i picked uh, i like how yours is blue he's blue yeah um, <laughs> thanks abby We've talked about this. We're going to get copy striked. I know. If you keep it up. I, now I'm just getting in there and like straight up sampling the mm-hmm. colors from the guy. Because mm-hmm. I just, the, 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 I, I can't do it. I, I can't, can't do it. I can't do I it. I can't do it. This one's, it's this right. one's real hard. I had a, an easier time with the tiger fur. This one though. It's you were really... working with a smaller area on the tiger fur. You're I right. Like. I had a lot more time. I just found a brush that I really like for adding in some more little detail there. Really? What'd yeah. you find? Just a dry brush. I'm just liking the effect it has. I love it. I'm going to make it darker for these little spots. Let me see. Ooh, that's see, kind of fun. I did it on his tail there. Look at that. Look at his tail. Ooh, Ooh, that is cool. Oh, look at your tail. That looks really good. Stop peeking. I can pee. <laughs> <laughs> He's bad, okay? Look, this one, this one's going down. This one's going down. That's a bad one. Oh, no. No, not at all. I like him. He's so cute. His fur is so expressive. Well, remember what you did with that cat that one time? No. Remember where you gave it like an external fur? Yes. You need- I'd maybe do that. Maybe that's the secret. The external fur. No, not for this guy. He's no. just a little floofball. Oh, that's all right. I'll figure it out. Look, you got this. I believe in you. You just give me the my finishing touches, and it'll be a masterpiece. You don't. Don't doubt me. I won't doubt you. The finishing touches are where I shine. Yes. You, you... have you have actually clutched many a poor uh drawing in the finishing touches into the finishing touches yes it's that panic of i just want it to look a little bit good before it's over just oh okay i think our last episode i took it from an f grade to a d grade Ooh, a whole letter grade yeah in just a few minutes wow that's very good much better than i could do with this but i think I found it. The secret was I was using the wrong brush. Nobody, you know, everybody kind of plays around with like, oh, hey, I need all these special brushes. But the truth is you do. You do need all this. You do need all the special brushes. Download the special brushes right away. You can, uh, of course, download the custom Drawbly 
brush set? We don't have one. At the link in the description. No. <gasps> uh, it's only four hundred dollars <laughs> for our brushes. Why don't I have that? Um, down below, check it out. Check out our brushes, guys. Mm -hmm. They're great. Um, they will make you draw like a pro. What? Can I'm, you give us an example of some of the names of the brushes that we uh, have? Good brush. Good brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, your so is your soft shade brush in there? Uh, no, that one's sold separately. It costs uh, extra. Naturally, naturally, as, as it should, as it should. Soft shade, soft uh, shade. which is literally just um, one of the soft brushes, but made to be uh, wider. It's like uh, you know, more blurry, even more soft. Because the one, like the- More blurry, yes, more soft. Well, the one they had by default, like wasn't soft enough. Like it wasn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't big enough, or I, I can't remember why I made it. Well, you made it because you wanted one that replicated your smoothing brush that you use in ZBrush. Uh, that wasn't the original purpose, actually. I feel like that was the subconscious purpose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. I don't even remember why I made it. Nobody remembers their dreams. Their you dream? made it in a fever dream. <laughs> oh, where's this brush? It must be made! It's, it's already one that exists, but I'm going to make it again. <laughs> And use it. Oh, it's my custom brush. Very special. <laughs> this lady. is mine, though. No. All right, you. Ah, uh, this thing. This thing. This thing. Before we even, you know, ten minutes ago, I didn't even know what a chinchilla was. was and now your heart is won over. One over or yeah. warm over? Uh, both. <laughs> Warmed <laughs> over and won over. One and warm and yes, yeah, so everything between. All right, wow, that is one nasty looking layer. I don't, I don't even know. Let's try, let's try some different effects here. Effects, it's all about the special effects, Abby. I wish, you know what I wish? What do you wish? That would come together here. It's just proportions, like I wish it was just a little easier to like just go in and fix proportions. Proportions you know, are really hard. Yeah, with his little face and his little eyes to get those to look exactly the you way they do. You could try the liquify. I'm always a proponent of the liquify. Yeah, I think you're right. We're, oh my I'm goodness. So I, I have done such a bad job. You know what might? What brush were you using earlier to like do your little pointillism stuff? Um, just the uh, flat brush. I, I I have a crazy idea. I'm I'm going in. Oh gosh, <laughs> got too crazy. All right, we're it's time to add our final details, mm -hmm. Abby. And for my final details, I'm gonna use a smudge brush. Ooh, fun. but I'm going to use a smudge brush on my fur. Oh, okay. I like that. In an attempt to. I, 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 so I'm using the smudge brush with a hairbrush, and I'm going to try to blend it out more. Uh, it's, it's it, is it working? It kind of looks like it might work. I feel like I have to press really hard, and I don't know if this is anything. I feel like the lines also. It, your strategy was so much better than mine. I should have followed your your route. It was quite a route. I'm adding whiskers now. Oh, gosh. Stop. Stop rubbing it in. Uh, well, whiskers make me nervous. So with my technique, like the lines, I feel like I'm learning that with fur, lines maybe don't work super well. Does that make sense? Because they're like... Oh, yeah, because it's, it's like you were saying, with the soft and hard edges, there's no... Hard edge. Hard edge. Right. So lines are... Like, what are you doing? It's just like, get away from me, lines. Get away from me, lines. Be gone. Even like, be gone when from you me, do line. use lines. I sometimes use lines to draw like dogs, and they're always like super like. Well, hey, we're learning. We're learning secrets. We could have watched a tutorial that would have said, hey, with fur, don't do line. Uh, but we got to learn the hard way. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is just kind of no blurring. Way the hard way. Blurring everything. Is that okay? Is blurry good? Maybe if it's blurry enough, people won't be able to tell what it is, and then it'll become like Oops, impressionistic, you know? Yeah. And then it's like, of course it looks good. It's whatever you want it to be. Oh, that was bad. Uh oh. How can I revert this to the color that it was before? Uh, on your history, your history will show your most recently 
Is that what you want? Uh, I think so. Your most recently selected color. Is that what you're looking for? I think that's what I wanted. I don't know. Look, I don't know what you're trying to do. Well, I was trying... Never mind. I was just trying. I was just... I was just giving it my best shot. Trying. That's all I can ever do is just try. <laughs> this tale. This tale. This it's a tale of woe. It is. A <laughs> <laughs> it is a tale of woe. And whoa, is it bad. Oh, that's bad then. That's bad. <laughs> Look, you started it. I did. I'm smudging. If I smudge enough, maybe something will happen, right? <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> um, you know what? I have... Oh, wait. What? Oh, oh no. Nothing. Nothing? It's fine. I'm sure it's not nothing. Oh, God. What have I done? What have you done, Ben? It's just kind of gotten... Is it time to bring an end to the chichilla? I think... I think it's time. I think maybe it's Is there any time. finishing touches you'd like to add? Um, <laughs> no. No? Okay. I don't think there's anything that I could do to finish, um finish this up. Why don't you show me your chinchilla? Oh, you know what? Here, here's what I'll do. Look, whisker, whisker, whisker. Beautiful. <gasps> you do. All right. Um, there's my chinchilla ball. <gasps> I love the chinchilla ball. And you did exactly the thing where you softened his edges. No, he looks so cute. Oh, that's very sweet. You did a good job. Mm. Wow. You're being very, very kind. Mostly it's just because it's such a cute... Chin I mean, chinchillas are by default cute, so if you've got something that slightly resembles I'm looking at yours, though, so and cute. we're just going to go ahead and move on to yours, Aww. because yours looks awesome! Oh, this thank is, you! This was such a cool technique. I love the way you say, oh, thank you! <laughs> by the way, you say it that way every time. It's how Ava, my little sister Ava says it, and you know how you sometimes pick up a phrase or a way of saying something from somebody? Well, she probably... Get, are you sure she's, she didn't get it from you? I have no idea where she she got it but every time she says it I think it's funny well you did a very good job with actually capturing the values and the texture while all like making everything feel very soft Aww. you did a very good job Thank with that you. these will go on the fridge well the every okay, single the Instagram every oh yeah is the Instagram the fridge is that what we call yeah, it oh we should call our Instagram the fridge oh yeah I'm sure that's not taken <laughs> I mean we should just call it that okay yes okay <laughs> <laughs> We'll put these on the fridge. <laughs> we'll have to put everything on the fridge. We do. We'll have a big. Uh, we can post a fridge photo a day. A fridge photo a day. We can hold. We can take pictures of our iPads and hold them up next to the fridge, and then post that picture on Instagram, so it looks like it's on the fridge. <gasps> <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can join us by sharing your chinchillas, chinchillas online using the hashtag Drobly and click the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. Ding that, ding that bell. Ding that smash, bell. Smash, smash, smash. The smash. Bell. smash the bell. And this is the part where we say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Oh, they're so cute. We had a chinchilla. We had two chinchillas. That's, that's my pen. Give me my pen back. Oh, no, wait, that's your it. pen. Okay. I, I want both pens. They're both mine now. <laughs>